Um, I drove by it once. So I'm here with Monique from Valley's Caldera Preserve. Is that what it's called? Uh, I'm actually with Caldera Action, and we are focused on transferring the Valles Caldera National Preserve to the National Park Service for Management. The preserve, as most people know, was bought by the public in the year 2000, and it's been run by a trust experiment, which has done a lot of interesting things. Uh, but they're about to sunset that legislation, and we believe that the best and most secure future for that magnificent landscape is to have it be managed by the National Park Service as a preserve with hunting and fishing and hiking and mountain biking. Thank you. So how did you feel? And opportunities for all of, us, all of the public who bought it. And there's a bill in Congress right now? Yeah, thanks to Senator Heinrich, it just passed out of the Natural Resource Committee in the Senate, and Udall is also a supporter, and we're looking at Ben Ray Luan in the House, and they're all supporting the transfer of the National Preserve to the National Park Service. Is there any hope that can pass a very dysfunctional Congress? Yeah, it could. It's that we've got bipartisan support, and if we can just get people from all over the country to call and support this, we've actually proven that it would be more fiscally responsible to do this if we shared resources uh, with Bandelier National Monument and also more support for the local economy if it had that National Park Service logo on. And there was just a huge Thompson Ridge fire in the Valles Caldera. Yeah, that uh, actually did really good stuff in the Valles Caldera. Not much high intensity burn. It burned some of the grasses and into the forest and did some nice, uh, actually money saving work for the Valles Caldera Preserve because it will save them having to do prescribed fire there. How would the Park Service takeover affect the fire response and also uh, clean up after that Thompson Ridge fire? Actually, the, they probably won't need to do much active work after the fire. You'll just be letting it, nature do its thing. The grasses are already green. Things are already happening up there. And the Park Service has a lot, a lot of experience with prescribed fire. And so I think they would be the best manager up there. And they'd be working with interagency cooperation as they do in these mountains. And what's wrong again with the Forest Service? Uh, nothing wrong with the Forest Service. The Forest Service manages a lot of acreage in New Mexico. Uh, I just believe that the Valles Caldera National Preserve, it's the headwaters, it's a very um, beautiful landscape, and the mandate of the Forest Service is use, including grazing, logging, motorized recreation, a lot of heavy impact use, and it, this 90,000 acre preserve could benefit from uh, less use intensive management. Are there other groups and local communities supporting this bill to make it Park Service? Yes, we've got a huge uh, alliance of supporters. started in 2000 when we pushed to buy the place. So if you go to calderaaction.org, you can see who all the supporters are. New Mexico Wildlife Federation, Wild Earth Guardians, uh, citizens groups, local economies, Los Alamos Chamber of Commerce, all kinds of people are behind this. Thank you, Minnie. Thank you, Ethan. That was Caldera, America's Next Natural Park Service. This website, calderaaction.org.